Hi, it's Katrina. From using their tails to knock out their prey to whether they sleep or not, here are 10 unbelievable shark behaviors. Number 10. Weaponized Tails We hear so much about how the mouths of sharks are dangerous, but there's one species that has another vicious weapon. It's tail. Known as thresher sharks, they are found in open oceans around the world at depths of up to 1,600 feet. There are three species of thresher shark, the pelagic, big eye, and common. And while they have slight differences, they all have these uniquely formed tails. The top half of their fins are huge in comparison to what's seen in other species, and in some cases are larger than the rest of the shark's body. It had long been suspected that threshers use their tails while hunting, but it was only in 2010 that the first videos were captured of them doing it in the wild. They swim fast towards their prey, use their pectoral fins to break sharply, lower their snouts, and flip their tails at speeds of around 30 miles per hour over their head and into their target. This movement is so quick that the water boils in a process called cavitation, which releases a huge amount of energy. When attacking large shoals of fish, they can instantly kill or knock out many individuals at once, and then need to simply circle and take their time while they eat their prize. Number 9. Gastric Eversion Gastric eversion is the process by which animals can regurgitate their entire stomachs out of their mouth. And while you may have heard of snakes or frogs doing it, did you know that sharks do it too? Different species of shark actually have various reasons for regurgitation. Great whites, for example, have been seen to purposefully vomit food that they've just eaten to make room for more, something that, rather than being gluttonous, is thought to be their way of ensuring they get the best quality of food on offer. When it comes to expelling their entire stomach, though, it's to do with cleansing themselves. It often happens during times of heightened stress, and it's easier for them to escape danger if they have less weight and, therefore, an empty stomach. The process can also help clean problematic contents such as parasites, mucus, or indigestible food particles. But don't worry, the sharks survive it just fine. Quite often, the stomach is retracted back into the body within a matter of seconds. Number 8. Returning to their birthplace It's easy to look at sharks as being creatures of instinct rather than habit, but after a 20-year study of the behaviors of lemon sharks, researchers discovered something quite amazing. The females usually return to the same place to give birth, and some have been observed returning to the exact place that they themselves were born. The study, based at Bimini and the Bahamas, monitored six lemon sharks that were born between 1993 and 1997, returning to give birth between 14 and 17 years later in what was the first recorded proof of this behavior known as natal philopatry in sharks. These findings have massive implications for conservationists who are trying to preserve habitats because if these breeding grounds were to be destroyed, it's not entirely clear what the alternative options would be. It's most likely that this would be a massive blow to the species. Number 7. Sleeping You may have heard that while sharks sleep, they need to keep moving continuously. And while the theory behind this fact is correct, it doesn't mean it's always true. They need a constant flow of water over their gills to extract the oxygen, which presents a problem if they were to remain motionless while sleeping. But with the more than 400 different species of sharks come a variety of ways around this. Sharks like the wabigong, for example, have structures called spiracles. These are small openings behind each eye that forces water across the gills, which enables them to lie at the bottom of the ocean completely motionless. Then there's the question of whether sharks even sleep at all. It's unlikely that they snuggle in a corner at night like we do, and it's generally thought that they simply have active periods and restful periods, with the latter being when parts of their brains remain less active during swimming. Furthermore, there has been a study that showed the shark's spinal cord is responsible for swimming, as opposed to their brains actively making it happen, which would mean they could continue to swim while being unconscious in a similar way to how we still breathe. And now for some cannibalism. But first, have you ever heard of the White Shark Cafe? If you haven't, don't worry, it's coming up. And be sure to subscribe if you are new here. Number 6. Embryo Cannibalism Sharks live cutthroat lives, but research has found that in some species their fight for survival begins before they've even been born. Autopsies of sand tiger sharks performed during the 1980s found something unusual. There were embryos within other embryos. Since then, it has been a mystery why the littermates would begin to eat each other just five months into the nearly year-long gestation, which leads to typically only two being born at the end. But a study in 2013 finally revealed the answer. 
Throughout the animal kingdom, there's a battle for males to be the ones to father young, from birds showing their plumage to mammals showing their dominance. And this unusual behavior in sand tiger sharks is just an extension of this. Females can become impregnated by multiple males, and each litter is made up of embryos with different paternal genetics. Tests performed on litters early on in the gestation with as many as 12 embryos had at least two fathers involved, while tests performed on those later in the cycle, when only two embryos were present, usually showed the genetics of only one father. This implies that the first embryo to grow large enough will devour those associated with those related to competitors, and leave one remaining. Not only does this further ensure the survival of the fittest, but also means that sand tiger sharks are larger than other shark species when they're born, which gives them an extra competitive edge to survive as they grow up. Number five. Bioluminescence Bioluminescence can be seen across the entire animal kingdom, but did you know that more than 10% of the currently known shark species are described as being luminous? It's one of the more mysterious parts of shark biology and is thought to perform different functions depending on the species. The small-eye pygmy is one of the smallest sharks, growing to only 6 inches long, and they have structures in their bellies that make them glow blue. This is a really effective camouflage technique in the open ocean where predators look up from the depths for their next meal. They look for shadows against the rippling blue light and the small eye pygmies simply blend into the background. Velvet belly lantern sharks, on the other hand, grow up to two feet long and are able to either glow continuously or make small patches of their skin light up in short bursts. This is thought to be more useful as communication, particularly in mating, where the males can light up their claspers, which is where they transfer sperm from, so females can approach. Number 4. Monogamy Although most shark species practice multiple paternity, where a litter of pups will have different fathers, some have been found to only mate with one partner throughout their lives. This means there's nowhere near as much genetic variation in their offspring and is thought to be putting one species at risk. Scientists tested the embryos of pregnant tiger sharks off the coast of Queensland that had been killed as a part of the beach protection program and found that of 112 unborn pups, only one of them had even a remote chance of having a different father than its siblings. It's the only species of shark where genetic monogamy has been detected so far and is thought to be a result of their migration patterns, which means they rarely encounter other sharks. It may simply be a case of not meeting enough males to have multiple fathers, but human activity is making the matter worse. Regular culling programs have seen shark numbers plummet in recent years and could lead to their extinction in that region of the world. Number 3. The Slowest Fish We often think of sharks as being streamlined predators that dart through the ocean in search of their prey, but one species, the Greenland sleeper shark, is actually the slowest fish relative to its size in the whole world. They live in the depths of the Arctic and North Atlantic and can grow to 21 feet long and weigh as much as 2,200 pounds. They are also the longest known living vertebrate species, with some estimated to be more than 400 years old. It's the cold water of their habitat that means that they move so slowly, but despite this, they found a novel way to hunt. They prey on sleeping seals. The various species of Arctic seals sleep in the water to avoid another predator, the polar bear but in the process leave themselves open to attack by the sharks, even though when they're awake, they're more than capable of outrunning the .76 miles per hour that the Greenland sleeper sharks move at. No matter what, sleeping is a risk. Number two, virgin birth. Sharks, like most other animals on Earth, require a male and a female for procreation, but there are some instances where this has proven to not be the case. It's a process called parthenogenesis, which translated from Greek means virgin birth. And while it's common in insects, it also occurs with some fish, reptiles, and even turkeys, and has been noted in a few shark species such as the white-spotted bamboo shark. They are able to double the egg genome to create an embryo with the correct number of chromosomes without the need for a male. Usually when this happens with larger creatures, the offspring is unable to survive longer than a matter of days, but there have been occasions where bamboo sharks have been born in this way and survived for years. It's not yet known, though, how often this happens in the wild, if ever. The only studies have involved animals that have been kept in captivity in isolation, and a specimen is yet to be found in the ocean where the DNA is made up of only female contributed chromosomes. Number 1. The White Shark Cafe Great white sharks are undoubtedly the species that we think of when we think of oceanic predators, and while they aren't as mercilessly vicious as movies would lead us to believe, they are still one of the most efficient predators on the planet. 
For this reason, a lot of time has been spent monitoring their behaviors, and there's something that researchers noticed that didn't make any sense until recently. By tracking their movements, it was found that large numbers of great whites were making a month-long journey from California and Mexico to a remote region in the mid-Pacific, where it seemed like there was nothing of interest at all. But why were they making this journey, especially as they often left areas with plenty of food sources? Was it their breeding ground, perhaps? Or was there something else there in the seemingly barren waters? The area, known as the White Shark Cafe, was visited in 2018 by a team who were hoping to find out the answer, and they were amazed at what they found. Rather than being devoid of any food, they discovered a huge community of squid and small fish that were migrating up and down through a little understood region of the ocean called the Midwater. Here, the sharks exhibited highly unusual behavior, diving to depths of more than 3,000 feet, which would usually be far too deep for them to keep warm enough to digest their food. Here, though, they were using the warm circular currents to follow their prey, and it's quite possible they were using the time to breed, too. There's still a huge amount to learn about areas like this in the ocean, and researchers fully expect a lot more surprises before they reveal the full picture. Thanks for watching! Aren't sharks amazing? Next year, hopefully we'll be doing this video from the open ocean. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!